All right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to the Soul Monad Show with Sonia. I'm Sonia Doswa. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. Notice that we're coming to you on Thursday. I was on a flight yesterday, so I wasn't able to come to you live on Wednesday. But we are here this Thursday, the 4th of March in 2021, and we have Dr. Carrie Getzmeyer making another house call. So we have a great show today, you guys. You will see it on your social media there on Facebook and on YouTube. You can go ahead and share it. There is a share button there. There in the lower up, 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 lower left or uh, right hand corner, whichever, and you can click share. Uh, join the conversation, you guys. Uh, you can submit your comments in the the uh, comment section there below and submit your questions for the doctor. Anything health and wellness, anything that you're curious about, anything that you want to ask Dr. Carey, uh, go ahead and submit those questions today. And if you guys recall, about three weeks ago, we had Dr. Carey here and live on the air, we did a, a blood test for my vitamin D and my omegas. And the results are in. Ooh. The results are in. I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? The doctor's going to share uh, the results with us and find out exactly what that means and what's going on inside my body and how you, too, can order that test for yourself to do right there in the safety and in the security of your own home, if you so choose, if you're watching from uh, out of the Twin Cities area. And... Um, you guys can get the results and work with Dr. Carrie and her fantastic staff at Lake Point Wellness. Okay, so we will go ahead and get right into that. We'll cover our restaurant here toward the end of the show. So we don't want to delay. We want to get Dr. Carrie on the air right now. So, Dr. Carrie, welcome back to the Soul Monad Show with Sonia. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be back. Yes, thank you for making a house call. I know, it's so fun. It is. It is so much fun. And speaking of vitamin D... How happy are you to see that warm sun that we could actually get outside and enjoy? Very, very excited. <laughs> yes. I know. I cannot wait. Um, I am all about just being outdoors and being locked up here. Um, in th these Midwest winters, and of course, the Northeast, you guys have had a horrific uh, winter as well. Uh, it's tough, you know, because I'm just, I'm not a tundra girl. I don't get out. I know that you ski. I do. Um, I just, and so it's really tough for me. And I know that I am lacking my vitamin Ds. I try to be diligent about taking them, but I guess we'll find out the real deal in a minute, won't we? We will. Okay, which one do you want to um, cover Let's first? Let's do vitamin D first. Okay, we're going to do vitamin D. Here we go. So you so. guys remember, she pricked my finger three weeks ago. We did that blood test. Let's take a look. And here it is. And So your vitamin D is pretty good. You've been remembering to take your Ds through the winter. I okay. like it. Okay, all right. So vitamin D levels, uh, we want them, if you can see that. The medical reference range says you're not deficient if you're over 30. Mm -hmm. However, for health, I really like 60 to 80 or more. And you're at 61. And I'm at 61. Okay, yeah. so I'm right in there. So you're right in there. I would assume during the golf season when I'm out there golfing, you know, It'll five, six days a week. I'm okay. Um, Except you can't wear sunscreen. Right. Because then that blocks the sun. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a conundrum now. Yeah, it you is. Know? And I do <laughs> it's wear. the balance. I do wear sunscreen 24-7. Yeah. But, you know, it naturally wears off and exactly. stuff. And with perspiration and everything, right? my chest is exposed. So I've got yep. that good exactly. torso exposure, um, you know, when it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you want to read this or do you want me to read this? Um, I'll just summarize it. Summarize it. That Go. That seems easier. Hit it. Okay. So vitamin D, we have vitamin D receptors on every cell in our body. It's important for immune function, especially now when we have certain viruses mm -hmm. running rampant in our country there and world. Are certain right now viruses. <laughs> Very yes. helpful to have healthy vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Also important for decreasing inflammation, healthy immune function, brain health, just literally cardiovascular health, blood sugar, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, cancer prevention, healing from disease. Autoimmunity is higher if our vitamin D is lower. So vitamin D is just necessary for everything. It's one of my it's one of my top nutrients. One of your so, top nutrients. Yes. And we'll talk about some others um, yeah. in a moment. Okay, so um, it says here the best dietary dietary sources of vitamin D comes from fish like salmon. Mm -hmm. Now we don't want to get that farm raised stuff, do we? Right. No, we want to. I miss going out. Right there in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I and, bet. And just... Um, there it is. Catching yeah. my own fresh salmon. There's nothing like it. Tuna, mackerel, small amounts are also found in mushrooms and egg yolks. Mm -hmm. 
fortified dairy products like milk. Okay, so fortified dairy products like milk. Very important source, source of vitamin D. I would D. not use that as your vitamin D source, and this Don't is why. Don't use it as your source, okay. I wouldn't use it as your vitamin D source. Okay, tell us. Well, there. I don't think it's high enough, mm-hmm. right? So many people have a, you have to make sure you have good dairy. Right. A lot of people have a dairy sensitivity. So I don't, don't, girl. You I don't love want, my dairy. You don't, want, you don't want milk as your primary source of vitamin D. Right, okay. And it just depends on the quality of the milk and the product. Like, where is the D? Is it evened out and emulsified? And mm-hmm. throughout the whole, is it the same throughout the whole glass or... Does it change on which what you're drinking out of the container? Right. You know, so it's just a lot of things. So that's not your best source of vitamin D. And also, we now know with vitamin D, for the vast majority of us, we want K2 with mm-hmm. it. K2 with it. And where we else can K2 we get our K2? It. Well, K2, we get our K1 mm-hmm. from green leafy vegetables. Okay. And we have to convert it in our stomach and our small intestine into K2. Okay. So if we have any gut imbalances right and we're not eating a lot of green leafy vegetables we're not converting it yeah so okay. now almost every supplement especially for adults and um even teens we're adding k is k2 is added into it wow that's interesting which enhances uh, absorption of vitamin uh-huh. d and enhances bone health wow so especially any Women our age or older. Yes. We need to make sure we have <laughs> women in a certain season of life. In a certain season of life. We'll just say. We can talk about that at a future yes. show. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a whole that's a other whole, show. That's a whole other show. That's a whole other show. And yep. we will be discussing that yes. <laughs> in between hot flashes. Yes, it is a yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> an interesting thing. Okay, so... Yet it affects everybody differently in the way that everybody's body processes that is different too. Yes. So there's all these different variables, but leafy greens, for example, are, I mean, that's pretty much safe to say on the daily is just on recommended daily. on Absolutely. the daily. One of, also part of yep. my top nutrients. Yes. Okay. Get those mm-hmm. leafy greens. So give us some example of, we have the kale, we have the spinach. spinach. Mm-hmm. Kale, spinach. Those are, I mean, yeah. those are my top ones. I really love arugula. Yes, I do too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And can you share why iceberg, iceberg lettuce is pretty much a... Well, it's pretty clear. <laughs> it doesn't have as many nutrients. And, mm-hmm. you know, so you want something that's deep in those rich colors. Yeah. And You're getting rich, that roughage, but yes. you're not getting the nutrients. You're not getting the nutrients. So iceberg lettuce, we right. love you, and you're pretty, especially yes. that pretty little wedge. Right. You know, but if you're looking for something with nutritional nutrients, value. You want the dark green you leafies, want the dark, yeah. kale. There's so many different mm-hmm. versions of kale. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And Spinach, you guys. I cook with spinach all the time. So I just I made my spaghetti sauce last weekend when the kids came over, mm-hmm. and it took me three and a half hours because yeah. I make it from scratch. Oh. I roast my own tomatoes with the garlic. I even chopped up some sweet red um, bell peppers oh, yeah. just because I had them. You Beautiful. know, um, roasted everything with the garlic, drizzle yeah. with the olive oil. Mm. Oh, my mouth is watering. And then I just go ahead and I take that spinach and I just threw it in the pan as well with the onions. I chopped Mm -hmm. up probably three cups of spinach. You can't even really taste it, but that value is there, right? And I also put it in kind of toward the end of the Mm -hmm. sauce, you know, along with my basil. You know, mm, yum. So, yeah, and you can throw it in anything. I, when I cook with spinach, Mm -hmm. I cook it in coconut oil. And okay. saute it and just wilt it down. Okay. And then I throw it into, if I'm making quinoa, I throw yep. that in. I throw it in on layers of lasagna. Yes. Mm-hmm. I put my lasagna too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. throw it into, I keep it raw. Mm-hmm. If I'm for chili or different soups and stews, right. I'll just pour, I'll just take a handful of spinach yep. in the bottom mm-hmm. and then you put on the warm super stew. Yep. And then it just kind of mix in and gets yeah. a little wilty. Yeah, so that's ways to just keep getting more of your greens. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like life. the whole leaf that's in there, just take your scissors or just take that knife and yeah. just chop it up. And and it's pretty, too, because yeah. it adds more color. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know. I love that. Um, quinoa. So that's another thing I like to do hot and cold. Yeah. So, you know, you can cook that, that brown rice and that quinoa, and then you can let it chill and right. season it real nice. And that's one of the things I love to do yeah. when I make a, you know, whatever, you can call it whatever. I don't, I don't really use recipes. Yeah. So you can call it a Mediterranean salad, a Greek salad, you pick, right. a, pick a region. It's I don't the best know. summer salad. Yeah. I just chop it up and throw mm-hmm. it in there. Yep. And then smoothies, we'll get kind of get to that yeah. later. But um, spinach and kale, it's like a great go-to, they are. you know? Yeah. And my little, <clears throat> spin- well, I'll talk to you, I'll give you my little 
Spinach life hack when we get to the smoothie part. Okay, spinach yeah. life hack. All right, yep. I'm going to write that down. I have a smoothie we... spinach life hack. Okay. <laughs> I am just all about every <laughs> single life hack that you have, girl. Um, okay, so, and then let's see. Da, da. Okay, so the amount of vitamin D needed to raise the blood vitamin D level desirable to rate it. So it varies. It varies. Based on all of these different things. I would say for most adults. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what the recommendation on this sheet. You know, we love this testing, but the recommendations they're going to give you on how much vitamin D to take mm -hmm. is a little bit closer to a medical-minded Thinking of, oh, we just want it to be at 30 or above. Right. You know, so we recommend everything for health yeah. and vitality and yes. vibrancy. Yes. So I'm going to recommend, you know, a minimum of 5,000 mm -hmm. for each person. Minimum or, of 5,000. Okay. Yeah. And if it's below 30, I mean, I recommend a lot. Let's see if I'm at the 20,000 right for a while. And then we retest. Right in front, Sonia. Right in front? Okay. Yep, yep. We have we have a really good guest question, too, that I'll oh, put up. Oh, great. good. All right, perfect. All right, so this one's going right in front, and we have a great guest question, and I don't have access to that. Gabe, you want to tell us what the question is? Yep, yep, for sure. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, um, good. Thank uh, again you. Here. Yep, yeah, hold that'd on be one great. second. So, so we're good with that document. So you see this, here, I'll raise it up. Just um, the chart at the top is what I want you guys to see. Obviously, you're not going to be able to read all that, right. and we are discussing all that. No, I'm sorry. I just went away to put up the question. So just yeah, uh, if you can look up there on the screen. Yep. Okay. And there I'll you put go. It right there. Okay. So, hey, little Ooh. brother, how you doing? How important is grounding, getting your feet in the grass? Great question. Very important. It's extremely mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. It is so, so important. It's so good for our bodies. Yes. Um, there's even studies on going and doing forest bathing, like uh -huh. really getting into the grass, yeah. really getting mm -hmm. into the woods and how it's decreased and helped with decreasing cancer mm -hmm. and increasing your immune function like mm -hmm. crazy. Obviously yeah. stress. It's good for stress. Yeah. It's good for breathing. It's mm -hmm. good for just centering. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, Mood. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Necessary, attitude. Important. You have a bad attitude. <laughs> Hit the woods barefoot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right? Uh, exactly. Or even you're just or even if you have to do your yeah. local park, right? Yep, Sometimes exactly. you can't always get to the woods. But there's um, so much beauty in there all is. just like right outside our front door. You know? I know. It yeah, it is. Um yeah. I'm a barefoot girl. Yeah. So winter too. I'm, I know my neighbors, if any of you guys are watching this, maybe later when you're watching this, but I know you guys see me out there sweeping the snow, you know, because I don't know how that snow machine works, but I'll be sweeping <laughs> the snow or going to get the mail and I'm barefoot. Like I'm 20, I love to be barefoot and yeah. all year long, I just love to have my feet in the grass yeah, and even fantastic. on the dirt. So I mean, I'd us. be out there on the softball diamonds, you know, just, I mean, yeah. anywhere, you know, out walking. I just love mm -hmm. to be barefoot. It just makes me feel like I'm so um, connected with so much more of God's creation. Exactly. You know? And I think it's important, more important now than ever mm -hmm. because we have so much chaos going on in our world. Yes. We have so much craziness. We have so many, you know, we have a lot with everything happening with computers and technology yep. mm -hmm. and now Wi-Fi and now everyone's on Zoom. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that we need to support and grounding and centering us back mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. and that's I mean, nature yes and the show is called soul Monod because it's it's yeah. about having uh finding the importance and the balance in your soul mind and body the show is about right. you know treating and ministering and addressing exactly. the needs in our entire body so that we can be healthy fit and strong in every single area yeah when i just I'm, i just have this picture in my mind um there are there are two things that yeah. just um bring me instant joy one is um my feet in the sand oh, and you I know I'm, I'm going yeah. to Mexico tomorrow to just kind of quarantine on the beach for a few days yes. um, away from everybody I'm just going to get some R&R &R. feet in the sand the visual of my feet in the sand and the sensation of that brings me such peace and yeah. such joy and the second one is my feet in the grass bright green healthy fluffy grass just my feet, it, it just gives me joy, and I just have a calmness and a peace that comes over me. So, yes, Jason, my brother, it is legit. It makes it does make a difference. And mm -hmm. scientifically, just to wrap up the segment, yes. you, you did say it covered the other areas. It was um, Health massively with Im improving your immune function mm -hmm. and your immune yep. cell function. Yep. 
Yeah. Love it. Keep the questions coming, you guys, as we uh, move on here and cover all this. Is there anything else that we want to talk about? The vitamin D. So you went over the numbers and where we can find it yeah. naturally. And now we've learned, uh, for those who didn't know, milk is not going to be our number one source of vitamin D. Yeah. Okay? And Check. you just want to make sure you have a good source. You have a yes. good, reputable um, source that you're purchasing it from. Yes. Oh, isn't things, that the truth? Yes. Yeah, we get the we get the organic from um, Costco. If I had a yep. local farmer, I would right. prefer to buy it from a local farmer, a local dairy. Right. Um, but we do get the organic. I mean, you have yeah. to pay a little bit more, but um, I just I want it to be clean. Yeah. I don't want those additives. You don't, I don't want eighty five different antibiotics no, in your cow. No, which goes into my body. <laughs> I don't want. You don't no. want dairy that has no. You know, Mm-mm. exposure to sixty to eighty antibiotics. No, no not I, good for our I want that happy cow, not good for happy our milk, yep. happy body. Yep. Yes. They like the grass too. Yes, they do like the grass. <laughs> yes, they do. They, they don't. Just they like, like to. They like to roam on the grass too. They don't yeah. like to be stuck in confinements. And yes, just like our <laughs> our range free, cage free chickens. Yep. Right, yeah. and we want the healthy poultry. For those of you who eat meat, I eat meat. I mm-hmm. love my chicken. Um, I grew up with chickens, plucking right. chickens, gathering eggs every morning mm-hmm. before school. Even as a city girl in Seattle, we just that was That's that was us. Did. Yeah, and the um, chickens were so healthy, and you bet they were not injected with yeah. one thing. I mean, if you go to the store, y'all, and you're going to buy some chicken breasts, and they're like this big, there's a problem. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's not natural. That's not natural. That's not, yes. that's not normal. <laughs> All right, so nope. vitamin D, we'll set that aside. Let's go on to the breakdown Omegas. of the results of my omega-3 test results. Yes. All right. Okay, so the first one is your total omega-3 status. Okay. So omega-3s are essential fatty acids. Mm-hmm. So we have to take them. We can't mm-hmm. make them. So we can't, like vitamin D, the sunlight comes in, we can convert and create vitamin D. Right. We can't create omega-3s. Okay. We have to take them in. And the two primary ones are EPA and DHA, Mm -hmm. and they are mostly found in fish. Okay. So so fish oils, Mm -hmm. right? That's right. And we want our omega-3 set. So omega-3 is necessary for how strong and resilient our cells are and how healthy we are. Mm -hmm. How is our gut lining? How is our immune function? Um, preventing or lowering risks of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer. So we want our omega, our healthy skin. So we want omega threes high, and we want that percentage in the test at eight percent or higher. Okay. And so we have some. We need to up your omegas a little. We do. That'd be my recommendation. Yes. And, and I'm. I take them, but you know, sometimes since my. Mm-hmm. My head injury, my memory has been affected. Right. Um, and we need more after we've been injured. Yeah. And they we also need help more. turn down inflammation. Right. And I have so much, and you're going to talk about that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys remember I had an, um, an accident um, almost two and a half years ago um, uh, where the waitress had pulled the chair from underneath me. And when I was sitting down, um, as our family was being seated mm-hmm. for dinner. And so I flew straight back and unfortunately the first thing that hit was the back of my head from earlobe to earlobe across the base of my skull um, at the front base of the chair yeah. actually the, the the seat of the chair was solid wood like this oh a little bit thicker because it was like two inches but the edge was yeah. was was pretty sharp you know and it was a solid heavy chair so I went back hit that head goes forward body then goes down on the back and then I head drops again on the concrete floor so um concussion hematoma um yeah. whiplash well again say i can't even remember anyway so my memory is affected and uh we're moving forward and i have a great team that's working with me but it shows in in tests like this and so it gives us mm-hmm. a, a better idea of what direction yeah. we can go in right so, so increasing I, your omegas is one yeah, thing. Increase them because I try to remember to take them every single day. Um, and of course, I've been taking yeah. omegas now for what, 20, probably 25 years? Yeah. Long time. Um, but look at that. I'm still coming in short. Mm-hmm. So I was at what, 5%? You're at just under 5%, and you want to be over 8 Ideally, like 9, 9 to 11. Yeah. I'll show you guys this chart. So we so want to you double your it. omega 3 status. Okay, double my omega-3 status. And I do have to say, since I yeah. moved here to the Midwest, my fish intake um, has dropped um, right. um, dramatically since I left yeah. Seattle. And I, I just have to be you know, diligent in, in working on that and, um, yeah. and intentional, right. you know, as we do with all of our nutrition, right? Yeah, we do. 
And you know what's interesting is that Thanks, Gabe. When it is when it's low, mm -hmm. right? There can also be even so what we noticed once we started running this test on everyone, yeah, or almost everyone, is that ninety plus percent of people, ninety five percent of people, even if they're taking fish oils, were low. Wow. I know. That's incredible. It's incredible. So either we're not getting enough mm -hmm. or we're not absorbing it and we're not breaking down and absorbing our fat. So we either need to help heal our digestion mm -hmm. and or we need to increase our omega threes. Okay. And, and up level our let's our talk type about type in our brand. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about natural sources. Natural sources mm -hmm. is good healthy fish. Mm -hmm. I even have a whole thing. It's okay. easy to read. Good These healthy fish. These are the fish. top ones. Wow, look at this. Yeah, okay. It's great. All right. So the top ones just off the top of my head Pacific yeah. herring, Atlantic herring, Atlantic salmon. This is wild, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Bluefin tuna, um, uh, pink salmon, coho. I used to catch yeah. the coho and, oh my gosh, and the mackerels and yeah. the sockeyes. Oh, yum. Yeah. Took, and my rainbow trouts. Oh, mm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Sardines, albacore, yes. um, the white. Uh, we have shark, swordfish, sea bass. Mm. Ooh, does that mean Chilean sea bass? That is just one of my favorites. Wild, mm, delicious halibut. Oh, I miss my fresh halibut. I know. Mm, yum. Yeah. You guys, look at this oh, oysters. Beautiful, Can't, there's beautiful, so much. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yes, beautiful. And then the dietary supplement. Now yeah. you have one that you brought with uh, you I today, did. though. So, doctor, can you tell us about the Why omega th that you brought? Talk to us. What so do you have? We have. Zymogen is mm -hmm. a company that sells to professionals only, okay. mm -hmm. and they have omega-3. It's monopure. Okay. So why is this different? Mm -hmm. It's different because the omega-3 is a triglyceride, and okay. what we have to do is we have to be able to break it down mm -hmm. into a monoglyceride to ab absorb it. So they had patented technology that already has it like broken down for mm -hmm. you so you can absorb it easier. Okay. So your absorbability is up to three times higher than what's on the label. Okay, much better absorption. So it's much better absorption. Yeah. So once we switched over and we started using this omega-3, people's omega status just went up like crazy. Oh. Because all of ours, all Dr. Rebecca, Dr. Chad, and I, all of our omega-3 status mm -hmm. was low before we switched over when we did, first did our omega-3 status too. <laughs> when I first saw you after my accident, mm -hmm. I used this, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And your omegas were higher when we tested them. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. So you want to get this. And for our viewers, if they want to get their hands on this particular omega, can they contact you at the office yes. and order it through your office? Con contact us at the office. Okay. All right. So reach out to Dr. Carey. Yeah. There you see at Lake Point um, mm -hmm. Chiropractic and Wellness, Wellness um, lpwellness.com. Yeah. Reach out to them and contact them. Is there a telephone number that they can call the front desk? Yes. 612-622-922-8100. Reach out to Dr. And is there a price point on this? I don't remember the price yeah. point. You know what? Should, but we can also send you the test kits yeah. too. If you're send not you the city. test kit. Mm -hmm. um, when you call her staff, yes. will let you know what the price point is. The yeah, they'll be more can you say? You can you say the phone number one more time, just so I can put it on screen? Sure. Yeah. The telephone number one more time. Go ahead, Doctor Carey. Six one two. Six one two. Nine two two. Nine two two. Eight one zero zero. Eight one zero zero. Great. Got it. Thank you. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe's yeah. going to go ahead and put that uh, put that on the screen. All right. So we've got the omega threes, and we need to take this one for the better yes. absorption, which is so true for um, supplements in general. Right. Um, I personally have been supplementing for twenty five years now, mm -hmm. some longer. Um, gosh, green tea extracts go back almost thirty years for yeah. me. All those years, you know, flying to Asia and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's the quality of your supplements, you guys. It's so important to get difference. quality supplements because, A, you want them to be effective. B, you want right. them to be as pure as possible. And C, you want the absorption um, to right. be. And that's actually a really big thing you have to be careful with with omega-3s uh -huh. because we, you know, over the years have trashed our world and our oceans. Yes. And so other omega-3s, if it's not a quality company, you will get heavy metals Mm -mm. in your omega-3s. Mm -mm. And we do not so want those heavy metals. Good, no. Right? And the total omega-3, the omega-3 total, you really want to look at the breakdowns of the EPA and the DHA. You don't just want a high total. Right. And low EPA and DHA. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's lots of things to look at label-wise. Right. It's a little more mm -hmm. complex than just, oh, I think I'll go pick up my fish oils today. Right. You're just grab them at the pharmacy or whatever. they're on sale at the dollar store. Exactly. We yeah. do not want that. No, we, we're not 
We're not creating more toxicity. The dollar store. Going yeah. backwards. So great gift cards at the dollar store. Yeah. But let's not We're get not our free. supplements there. Nope. Some <laughs> party. Okay, so yeah. tell me some more about this testing okay, then. Okay, so additionally in this testing, what's really great is we get a look at our omega-6 to omega-3 status mm -hmm. and our arachnidonic acid to EPA okay. status. Okay. So when those are out of balance, they are different kinds of fats, and when they are out of balance, then we are going to be more inflamed. Mm -hmm. So well, how we it shows, oh my gosh, okay, if I take more omega threes is how we bring it back into balance okay sometimes we need to make some dietary changes mm -hmm. you know if we're eating kind of the standard american diet and more right. processed food yeah. and more Oof. stuff then we need to make those changes and if we are not eating that way and we're eating mostly whole and clean yes. and from the earth yes then we need to increase our omega threes to bring those numbers back into balance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so what are my results then so on the first one this omega-3 to omega-6 status is 8.7 to 1. You can hold that. Wow. Hold that up. That's awful, you guys. So yeah. um, we really want it 2 to 1 to 3 to 1. Mm -hmm. The reference range is 3 to 1 to 5 to 1, but there's research that shows there's cancer prevention when you're at 2 to 1. So I, I, I vote aim high. Yeah. So you're at 6 to 3 ratio down to 2 yeah. to 1. <laughs> okay. Right. And, and then and the other one. I didn't test yeah. that low two years ago, did I? So I have a lot of stress in my body and inflammation and stuff mm -hmm. um, coming from yeah, this accident. Oh, I think it just that I, I, my brain is yeah. working overtime to tr literally just to it's try to concentrate. To to yeah, because two years ago day. you were at seven point six. Oh my word! And five to one to six to one. Yeah, compared to that one. So yeah, your infl inflammatory markers have gone up. Wow, substantially, you substantially. guys. Substantially, and your omega three ratio um, is almost it almost cut in half. That's incredible. I know. So what's good is that's why we retest. You know, mm -hmm. because if we would have looked at this, we would have been like, "Oh, you've still been taking your fish oils. You're probably fine." Yeah, you're good. It's, it's all good. good. Just but take. That's those. why we retest. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. So this, when I came to you, it was right after my accident, and mm -hmm. I was living a very healthy. Yep. life her very healthy life lifestyle nothing exactly. has really changed in that but these numbers that are looking yeah. at the inside of my body and the inflammation and all of that from the trauma yeah, and the stress down. has gone down i mean substantially yeah. you guys this is this is incredible yeah it's gone down a lot so yeah and that arachnidonic to epa ratio mm -hmm. on the bottom that's like that inflammatory response just like whew, like how you know i think of it as at the end of the Christmas season, mm -hmm. the tree, <laughs> the tree, like you would just walk by it too fast and it's just going to implode and start yeah. on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If your arachnidonic acid ratio to EPA ratio is high, mm -hmm. then your set point for sh for mm -hmm. just like wah, having pain and inflammation, it's very, very low. You know. Yeah. So I, we've I mean, seen just and sitting numbers here, my head are, is just screaming at me. Yeah, you know, like, I like this better. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, so did we cover everything? We covered that's on, everything on there on this sheet. All right, so what do we have that's next? The last doc? one is good. See, you're not. You haven't. You've been telling the truth about yes. how you're eating. Oh, this is all about how I eat. Okay, because your trans fat index, yes. which would be what we would take in if we were eating processed foods or no, trans fats, I don't like trans processed nope. foods. And it shows fats. because yeah. it's only 04 percent. Wow. And you Point. want it under one. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh! That's so you're that's excelling incredible. in your lifestyle. We okay. just need to add some more omega so your body can heal. Yes, yes, we need that body to heal. Look at that, you guys. See, yeah. I told you, I'm telling the truth. I'm yeah. a, I'm a healthy eating girl. You're telling the truth. Yeah, I just eat it. You know, if it's mm -hmm. you don't want it coming out of some box can something unless it's nope. organically canned. Yep. A, a, your a tomato or a, yeah. I mean, like anything that's pre mixed, pre packaged, pre. Um, Just, and it's yeah. not in my house. It's not in my right. house, and it's not in my body. See, right. I'm telling the truth. Okay, so there's that. So these yeah. numbers. This is point four. We want to be under one percent. Mm -hmm. So that's excellent. It's great. It's excellent. Okay, good. It's and one of I the was, lowest I've seen. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm it's glad. Excellent. Wow. I'm mm -hmm. really glad to hear that. Yeah. And I that had tested extremely well back then, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So yeah. see, I've maintained that. So I that's just maintained. Got to get yeah. the fog going. Okay, so is that it for me for That's the testing? It, for your testing? All right, can you tell our viewers one more time yeah. about these two tests and how they yes. too can get their hands on this? Yeah, so the first one is the vitamin D test, and 
you there's just a finger prick test you can get it in our office or we can ship you the test kit and then the other one is the omega quant yep so the omega quant is the name of the test looking at your omega threes and those all those ratios mm. so you just do a little finger prick and some blood and then very small amount wendy very, very small amount. very small amount yes yeah, not and if you're deal. not uh around you're not meaning like you're not in the metro and yep. can't pop in to grab it we yep. can ship them to you and you can order them off our website yep absolutely so we can yep. send them wherever yep and you can do they can do a video consult or telephone consult exactly. get on the doctor's calendar and yep. she can go everything um go over everything with you yep. um the staff is amazing you guys you so I know Fabulous. you do. When I walked in, I was like, mm. Mm. so calming and peaceful. All right, what else do we have then? Let's let's talk about. You want to go to this one next? Let's go to this one okay. next. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to this one next. Okay, so uh, Dr. Carey has there at her practice the, um, some a system that they're called. And this is relatively new that they've put together. Um, it's not a new concept, but just in a structural way that's easy to explain um, to patients is the Lake Point Six. Yes. So while I'm showing this to the camera, there we go. Gabe has it up. Has Talk it up. to us about the Lake Point Six. The Lake Point Six. So you know, over the years. We have just trashed our earth. <laughs> yes, we have. Shame and we us. have increased our stress. Oh, so mm -hmm. most of us, every, all day, every day, we think we're running from tigers. Yep. And we are just running on empty. So the Lake Point Six are the, <laughs> yes, <we have. laughs> are the top six nutrients that we recommend that everyone takes every day. Okay. So a really healthy, high-quality multivitamin. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like, I... Okay, honest, full transparency. I don't take a multivitamin, <laughs> right? even though it's number one of the Lake right. Point Six. However, I do do a smoothie that has yes. protein and my multivitamin in the smoothie powder. Oh, right. Okay. So I take it indirectly. Right. So you're taking it. It may not be in pill form. It may not be in pill form. However, so mine's in powder you form. You are getting, definitely, definitely getting it in powder form. I'm getting it in form. powder form. Correct. And we're going to talk about that next. So, yes. okay. All right. So okay. what else do we have here? And then number two is your omegas. Okay. Omega threes. We just went over that. We just went over really that. Really importante. Yes. Number okay. three is probiotics. Mm -hmm. And probiotics yep. are ever evolving and changing. There's so much new information. That's a yeah. whole nother show. Um, that's ours is probiotics, but there's probiotics, prebiotics, mm -hmm. you know, most of us, they get burnt out from stress. They get burnt out from antibiotics. They get burnt mm -hmm. out from any hormones. If we're taking any hormones or any, mm -hmm. um, anyone on birth control, um, other medications, um, disrupt your gut dysbiosis and burn out your probiotics. If you have a pathogen, meaning a par parasite or bacteria or fungal overgrowth that you don't know about. Right? So probiotics uh, and then plant nutrients. Mm -hmm. So I take, you know, we want to eat a rainbow every day. Right. You know, many years ago, like a handful of years ago, even the FDA recommended that, and I say even because I don't think that our foundational system believes in health and our insurance right. system definitely does not believe in health. Yes, correct. <laughs> so yeah. plant nutrients, fruits and vegetables, the instead of five servings a day, went up to 13. Mm hmm you hear that? 13. Went from 5 to 13, you and guys. We don't, and the government doesn't believe in health. We don't believe in disease. 5 to 13. <laughs> I so, mean, you want to talk lot. about preventative measures to, yeah. you know, to be that's in not, good health. And once you're in debt, like once you're in nutritional debt, once right. you have an injury, once you have an illness, once you have stress, once you've been depleted, yes. you need more than that. Yes. You know, you can't pay off your credit card debt by eating, by paying the minimum. Right. You can't get out of nutritional debt by eating the minimum. Yes, that's right. Right. The RDA is, you know. You know, okay, guys, from 5 to 13. Y'all getting this? Right. 5 to 13. It has now right. gone to. And I don't get that every day either. I so mean, I also put it in my smoothie. Yes. Oh, right. I mean, it's so yes. easy. I love so to I do, do that. So I do a scoop of powdered greens mm -hmm. that has 20 servings of antioxidants a day. Yep. And Perfect. then I eat my vegetables and I put more in my smoothie yep. and I do my things. Yep. Yes. Love and it. And vitamin D. Okay. Vitamin D is also on the Lake Point 6. Lake vitamin Point 6. D. And we and just then covered that. The last one is Ganoderma which is also known as reishi. So mm -hmm. it's a medicinal mushroom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And okay. I, dr I also drink that every day. <laughs> yep, good girl. I put a lot because, you know, people don't want to swallow. People don't want to be swallowing handfuls of pills. So right. we try to do most of it. That all is liquid. So right. I only swallow, mm -hmm. you know, like my, I have vitamin D mm -hmm. and omegas in capsule form. And everything else is in powder form. Is in powder and form. My Ganoderm is in my coffee. But it's so easy. 
Yeah. So easy. Okay, talk so to I us I never about forget to take it. <laughs> Ganoderma. What is Ganoderma? Let's talk about Ganoderma. Yes. Ganoderma is also known as reishi, mm -hmm. and it is just a powerful superfood. Food. Mushroom. It's a mushroom. Uh -huh. It helps with decrease, enhancing immune function. It turns down inflammation by 11 different ways. Wow. It is antiviral, antibacterial. It helps induce apoptosis, so killing of cancer cells. It boosts your immune function and your natural killer cells. It helps modulate your immune system. Uh -huh. So when autoimmunity, we... We, sen we sense that something's foreign and we kill it, except we're sensing that our own body is foreign right. and killing it mm -hmm. or attacking our own body. Mm. And so Ganoderma helps balance your immune function to pull yourself out of autoimmunity. Um, I know multiple people who don't have allergies, seasonal allergies anymore, because they just started modulating and balancing their immune system. Oh, really? So and it's helped with the allergies, it. see? Yes. And it's also in, I also take it in capsule form. So I do both. Out of so I have it, you know, I drink it um, every day and then I also put it into anymore, a capsule. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. I, then I also do capsule form. And because of its anti-inflammatory and immune boosting event uh, properties, if I feel like I'm getting sick or on the edge of getting sick, I increase my vitamin D and my plant nutrients and my probiotics and my Ganoderma like crazy, mm -hmm. like a lot. And same, if I get injured, I increase my omegas, and I increase my plant nutrients, and I increase my Ganoderma. If I have an, like, like if I wipe out skiing. <laughs> right, if you wipe out skiing, yeah. or if the waitress pulls the chair out yeah. from beneath you, and you fall back, and you exactly. crash then on the back of your head. Then I need a lot. Then I need, need hourly doses. Yeah, so, yeah, literally. Then I need yeah. to up this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, that is the Lake Point That's Six. Lake Point Six. Yes, and if you're interested in getting on board with this, you reach out to Dr. Carrie yes. and her staff there at um, uh, Lake Point Wellness, yes. and, and we, they'll be happy to assist you. We have a tagline that is "Be the lifestyle." Be so the lifestyle. We like to be the lifestyle. I love that. Be the lifestyle. And so this month, this March, is Be Nourished Month. Yes. So we're going to have Let's following us on social media. You are going to see all kinds of things about being nourished in the Lake Point Six. Okay. It's Be Nourished Month. And we have a mm -hmm. question that just came in. Yeah. Uh, so I think my producer just sent this one in. For someone who's starting to be healthy for the first time in 40 years, where does one begin? Well, first of all, congratulations. Yes. For getting started in yep. 40 years. That's fantastic. Well, there, you know, depending on the person, I would make mm -hmm. certain recommendations. Mm -hmm. But sure. I would start, if you're starting. To generalize. I would make sure you're drinking water. It's so funny. I was going to say the first thing that came to me was the goal of a gallon of water a day. Yes. Water, water, water. We want to drink half yes. our body weight in yep. ounces. So yep. I would start with water. Yes. I would ditch if we're having any like sodas or, you know, yep. junk. I would I would ditch that. No then, cigarette smoking. Nope, That's I would a not big do one. That. Nope. Yep. We um, definitely don't want to do that. Uh, whole fruits, whole we're vegetables. Vaping. How whole about? fruits, whole vegetables. Whole fruits, whole vegetables. And start with movement. Yeah, and move. So movement every day. Yeah. So if you're not, and if you movement. don't have an exercise routine, I think this is very important though. If mm -hmm. you do not exercise regularly, right? Do not start like, okay, I'm. I haven't done anything in forty <laughs> years. I'm going to do a boot camp. I'm going to be right. two weeks in a row, and I'm going to do it because what I have seen is that people pendulum swing and you burn out. Yeah. Sure. And you set yourself up to yeah. fail. Yes. So if you don't have a regular exercise program, okay, I'm going to do twice a week. I'm going to do something for 20 or 30 minutes. Right. And then once I've established that, mm -hmm. okay, now I'm going to add that third day. Yes. Yeah. It works so much better. Attainable goals. Attainable yo. goals. Attainable goals. Hey, Bruce, right. how's it going, hon? Exactly. I'm so glad that you're watching the show. Attainable goals, you guys. So right off the top of your bat, if you are just now yeah. starting to take a look at your health and you you want to start fresh and anew what are you going to start with so the doctor says water fresh fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables stop smoking or vaping yeah. movement uh, is a great start. Yes. That that's right the, there is the a great start. start. Mm -hmm. So those were five simple tips, just five simple tips just to get going to start today. Exactly. And you know what? Any day can be a new day. Right. Truly every day is a new day, right? But any yeah. day can be the first day. Exactly. You can even start yep. like now. Yep. You can In, start the right of the day. now. <laughs>
Yep. You don't even have to wait till tomorrow. No. <laughs> and for those of you who are at home and you're behind that COVID computer, hey, Grace, I'm glad you're here watching, girl. For those of you who yeah. are at home and you're behind that COVID computer all day, don't forget to get up. Maybe yes. you can sit take on that break. yoga ball. You can take a break. Get up. Walk get moving. Walk the stairs. Walk around the block. Yep. Now Do some dips. Yes, Do some exactly. Russian twists. Right? Get moving. Mm -hmm. Get the arms going. Just get moving. It will exactly. feed your soul. It'll feed your brain. You'll be more efficient after actually behind mm -hmm. that COVID computer, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So okay. let's see. Um, Grace, I'm so glad that you're watching here from Seattle. Hey, glad you're here, girl. Okay, let's move on, doctor. Okay. So we have how to build the perfect smoothie. Yes. And um, can we also talk about what's things to avoid? Because um, yes. when people say smoothie, they assume that it's healthy. Right. And it's like, no, you just made a milkshake and threw spinach in your milkshake. Right. <laughs> right? Okay. So talk to us. Okay. So here's our perfect, perfect smoothie. So we are going to start with water. Okay. Or maybe a nut milk. Mm -hmm. Like an almond, a macadamia nut milk, right? Yeah. I like my unsweetened almond milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do mm -hmm. too. And then we're going to add some po some proteins. Okay. So we can add some collagen. Yep. We can add some fruits and greens, mm -hmm. probiotics, superfoods. All right? of this stuff comes in powder form. So That's see, my right? multivitamin, you yep. know. But you also want to be careful what mm -hmm. you get, right? You want to find Right, yeah, quality. Healthy, clean, quality. So versions. we are not picking up our yeah. powerful powders at the dollar store either, are we're we? Not. No, nope. we are not. We're not doing that at <laughs> a pharmacy. Okay. healthy fats. And so healthy fats. I like to put a half an avocado in my smoothie mm -hmm. pretty much every day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. big into that too. Can yeah. we talk about healthy fats for a moment? Because yes. there's so many misconceptions that are out there. Yeah. And the importance of having, you know, those those healthy proteins with the healthy fats, right? Yes. All mixed balanced together. together. Balanced right? a healthy, together. Healthy, balanced meal. Yep. Healthy carbs. Healthy all of it. Snack. There's... It's it's not that we want to stay away from fat. No. Remember back in the Love 80s? That. Oh, I know. Everything was fat-free, and we thought we were helping ourselves. And Oh, yeah. We were all eating processed yeah. everything <laughs> and just poisoning ourselves yes. because everything was fat-free. Yes. Yeah, it's terrible. So talk to us about healthy fats. So for a smoothie, we really love a organic nut butter. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like an almond butter or an organic peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And avocado is a great choice. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I, I don't put coconut oil in my smoothie but i do put it in my morning coffee yum so I, that's another way to get a good healthy fat mm -hmm. and then you can put some chia seeds some flax seeds blend them up mm -hmm. get some good healthy fats Yep, then you're yeah. perfect. And and for those of you who love the peanut butter and you don't want to get, you know, the unsweetened peanut butter, but you just yes. like that. It's that actually has a strong flavor, so it doesn't it does. take much to yeah, put that taste. You don't need sugar taste. in your peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just a little tiny no. bit. I know we talked about it last time. It's like, oh, what? It's not a half a cup of peanut butter? No. Right. <laughs> and also that's an important thing because that's this is a little interesting thing is I have noticed it depends on the person. Some people... Do not do well with peanut butter. Right. So peanut butter, depending on the source, can be peanuts can be really moldy. So that's mm -hmm. a whole different deal on mold and toxicity. So you have to be careful with your source. But then additionally, some people do not metabolize peanut butter very well. Right. And it can make them crave mm -hmm. more sweets throughout the rest of the day. Ah, you or hear that? it can mess with their sleep. Mm -hmm. at night if they're having like, oh, I'm having peanut butter as this healthy snack, but it just the way that they metabolize it, it messes with their blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, that's been across a few different demographics of patients that peanut butter just isn't their deal. So be careful Not on their that. Jam. Like a nut butter is a better, and my favorite way right. to get almond butter is the, like you grind it at the co-op. Yes. So right. Linen Hills Co-op has the grinder. It's so awesome. Okay. And it just goes, and then you just get fresh almond butter and it is amazing. Yum. It's next level. And then you don't mm. have to mess with the oil and the separation and the things. Mm. And it's great. And yeah. sometimes I'll mm -hmm. throw in um, my organic unsalted um, almonds. Yeah. You know, and just throw yep. those in. Now You have to have a good blender. You have to have a good blender. And just like with or blueberries mix. or, um, mm -hmm. you know, seeded fruits um, or strawberries, yeah. you know, check your grill. Because you <laughs> might have some funk in your grill. Yep. I'm just, just going to warn you <laughs> yep. now. I mean, so, seriously, You're sometimes. You're smiling. <laughs> Spinach and blueberries in your yeah. mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you that story right. when I was on that uh, San Francisco trip and I had been talking to the cockpit for all that time before departure? No one told you? 
Yeah, and no, and I had blueberry <laughs> peels all over, and we were just about to board the aircraft. Can you imagine if I greeted my first class passengers and and right. and had all these blueberry peels all over my grill? Yeah. Anyway, so if you throw in a seeded you have fruit, to be careful. Or you're throwing in the almonds. Be careful. Check right. your grill because mm -hmm. you, you're going to have some funk yeah. up in there. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, how are we doing on time? I think we're doing good. I think we have about yeah. 10 minutes. And then you can add, oh, my life Talk hack is spinach. Yes, so the Spinach life hack. in your smoothie. What I love to do mm -hmm. is I love to buy the big container of organic spinach from Costco. Yes, same here. And four fifty nine, I think it yeah. is. Yeah. Instead mm -hmm. of, you know, 7 or $8 yeah. everywhere no. else. Yep. And it's organic. And like it's organic. Said. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't eat it in time or you buy two because you don't want to go to Costco right. all the time. Then as it's, if it's starting to go, well, one, if you put a paper towel in the top, right. it doesn't go bad. Yes. Learned that from my mother. Mm -hmm. And then two, as it's starting to get a little wilty or too yep. much, I just put it in the freezer. Same. And then I grab a handful of frozen spinach and yep. throw that in my smoothie. Mm -hmm. And the spinach then has like the whole leaf, the whole thing. Yep. It's better for your smoothie. And then it's not mm -hmm. as messy as if you buy the pre-packaged frozen yep. spinach. Super and you save easy. Money. I take my quart size container yep. for the bottom of my spinach, yep. take it, put it in the, the freezer quart size bag, lay it out flat in the freezer. It goes, and when you take yep. it out, it's like you're taking out these frozen chips. Just big chunks. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter that it was starting to kind of wilt and get a little yeah. soft or whatever. I don't whatever. even put it in it. I just it's, put the whole big thing in there. <laughs> I, well, I have I have a, a lot of people that eat a lot of food in my house. Yeah, so you my don't have as much freezer full. space. Yes. I don't have the space. I have more freezer space. So. And that's... That's yes. two freezers. Exactly. Um, but great, great hack. Yeah. Do that. Um, you know, and same thing for soups too, you guys. Don't forget yeah. that even though the spinach might be going just a, just a skosh, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Just throw it in your soup. Just throw it in your soup. Yeah. 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 And Don't. get more fat sauteed in coconut oil first. Yes. Yeah. Yum. Yeah, mm -hmm. for that good, healthy fat. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we wrap to highlight our restaurant of, of um, choosing today, yeah. uh, what else did you want to touch on before we wrap for today? I mean, do we have any other questions to answer? Uh, do we have any other questions to answer? Let me take a look and see. I think one had come in talking about, um, of course, now that I'm looking for it, I can't find it. Um, oh, I know I received an email. Somebody was asking about bananas, you know, the okay. high in sugar. So what about bananas and smoothies? You know, some people are like, do I take one every day? I mean, it has potassium value. It helps to prevent cramping and everything. Yeah. But, you know. I, I mean... Green leafies have potassium in them, too. Yep. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and if you like that banana I mean, flavor, maybe a half a banana. Maybe a half. Yeah. A third to a half. Mm -hmm. And I put mine in the freezer. Yep. So, again, so when you're doing, up, yep, right? you're when doing you your frozen smoothie. Fruit, then yeah. you don't have, you can throw an ice, but you don't need the ice if your fruit is frozen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what and I've done fruit's sometimes? supposed to be a splash add onto your smoothie. It's not supposed right. to be like this much fruit and then, right. a, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that almost be like a home, homemade sorbet, which is actually a lot of sugar. But right. And sometimes what I've done, um, if I feel I, I'm kind of tired or I've got a golf tournament or early tea time or something, yeah. I will literally ground fresh coffee beans mm -hmm. and also throw that in um, yeah. into the mix, depending on what the combination Have is. A little flavor. And it's just a great espresso drink. But again, you got to check your grill when it comes to that yes, kind of you stuff. Yes, Definitely. <laughs> Okay, uh, we are just about to wrap here. Let me see if there was anything else that had come in. Um, yes, people were talking about the combination with this whole COVID thing. And of course, there's no guarantee, you know, but no. it's just... Um, everyone's different. Everyone is different. But, um, you know, people are talking about what is that combination that, that they thought was good. And, and what we're hearing is, you know, C and zinc and magnesium and B6 or 12. B and, and B6, you know, and of course, you know, there's no guarantee for anything, but, um, you know, we want to have vitamin these in D. our, and which one? Vitamin D, omega threes, uh, vitamin we D, omega threes, control our inflammation, mm -hmm. turmeric. Oh, yeah. turmeric. Love that. Mm -hmm. Do you know when I make, um, a brewed coffee, ground my beans and I do a brewed cause I have my espresso machine at home right. and sometimes we do the brewed. So I took yeah. a, uh, I took a spice bottle, um, that oh, was and empty. You did it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I rinsed it, I washed it out, and I made my own blend of cinnamon, um, oh, cloves, and turmeric. Yep. Nice. And so it's in there with the little holes mm -hmm. at the top. 
right? Yeah. And so I sprinkle it right over top of my coffee grounds. And oh. I love that flavor that it gives yeah. it too. Oh, and I'm sorry, and ginger. I was like, right. there's a fourth one. I'm trying to remember, Sonia. Yes. There's a fourth one, and ginger. Oh, yeah. And it's just, and especially in the winter months, mm, it's just so warm kind and of cozy. earthy and warmy chai and cozy tea. and, yeah, mm-hmm. kind of chai tea ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Okay. So, um, hey, Amir, glad that you're watching, hun. Um, thanks for being here. All right, you guys, it is just about time to transition. So, um, if you have any more questions for, that you want to submit for the doctor before we sign off, uh, let us know right now. Otherwise, she will revisit us and make another house call later. Uh, you guys know that here at Solmanad, we are highlighting one restaurant of choice every single week and one or two. And so you can see it right there up on the screen. The one that we're highlighting today is the Caribbean Palm. It's the Caribbean Palm Restaurant and Bar. It's in Scottsdale, Arizona. Take a look at this, you guys. You want your jerk chicken? There it is. Look at that fish. It is all things. Mm. They have their squash in there. They love their lentils and their beans. Oh, my goodness. Uh, You can contact them at 480-947-4343. Caribbean Palm. Palm Restaurant and Bar. It is a black-owned business right there in Scottsdale, Arizona. Check them out. They are uh, operating here uh, in the midst of COVID, so I'm not sure exactly where they're at today because things seem to be changing on a daily basis. We can dine in. We can't dine in. We can swoop in or swoop by, whatever it is. Give them a call. Go online. Place your order today. The food is fantastic. The reviews are excellent. And uh, we want to go out and do our part to support our local small businesses and our local restaurants. So I just wanted to highlight the Caribbean Palm Restaurant and Bar in Scottsdale, Arizona. Kudos to you guys. Shout out to you. All the best to you and great success uh, in um, your beautiful, beautiful restaurant and your fantastic food, uh, also offering excellent customer service. And I know you guys, I had talked talked about this week. I was hoping to do some cover uh, coverage there on um, the Derek Chauvin case uh, for Derek murdering George Floyd and the other officers and their involvement. Uh, it's a little bit premature this week. Uh, they will go ahead and start doing the, it's jury selections that I think is coming up or oh, something soon. like that. So, um, but you guys stay tuned and I'll be um, sharing more information with you about that uh, in um, the coming weeks. Um, uh, be vocal in your part, whatever that is, whether it's just one-on-one with a friend, do your part, stand up for justice. We want justice and equality for all people. And uh, we at Solmanad stand for that and we'll always um, always be speaking out and be a voice for the voiceless as well. So um, you guys be a blessing. Uh, be a blessing. Reach out to your neighbors. Uh, stay plugged in in community. Uh, I know it, everything is it varies from state to state and city to city, whatever the, the rules and laws are and policies right now with, with masking, but we are still in the middle of um, of a global pandemic, so be cautious. Um, uh, be be uh, tuned in and very focused on and very aware of your surroundings and be kind uh, to one another. Be considerate and be patient. Um, you guys... Um, have really been supportive in in this whole uh, COVID climate and all this racial injustice and everything that has been happening, um, of course, for years, but we've been uh, trying to be more proactive and highlighting it more. And so I thank you to our viewers who who just keep reaching out to us and just keep saying, you know, go, you know, we stand with you, you know, for standing up for what is right and just and fair and 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 using wisdom and amidst COVID and and in this in this crisis. But remember, you guys, that re- together we can and together we will we just want to continue to pull together come together side by side shoulder to shoulder or at least heart to heart um, you know if we have to uh, continue to social distance but I thank you guys for reaching out and just being such a support for the messages that we're trying to to bring to you about being healthy fit and strong in your soul mind and body Dr. Carrie, thank you so much for stopping by and making a thank house call today <laughs> can't wait to have you back again I can't wait to return wonderful and for all of you who tune in today and all of you who will be watching uh, later on you can find this on uh, all of our social media outlets there Um, so watch it share it with your friends and you can go ahead and chime in with your questions comments or concerns and we will uh, both be watching and we'll chime in and answer your questions comments or concerns as they come in uh, after this recording so we thank you all for tuning in and watching the soul monad show with sonia today and y'all say bless whatever you put your hands to do until next time ciao